What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon Barbarino. Welcome back to another episode of Brandon Raven Graphics DS. In the last episode, we started our adventure at the beach, then we arrived at the forest, and got two new costumes. In this episode, we're going to take the abilities that we learned in the last level and get to the second level of the first level, or second level. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, now that we have the fire costume, we're able to access path two. Um, we're, we have to backtrack a lot in this game and go through different paths that we have we weren't, we weren't able to go through before. So... Um, there is a certain path we need to go to that we did not have, we did not, um, we weren't able to go through because we didn't have the fire power up. So now that we have it, we're able to. So let's go ahead and go forward. They're not that hard to come by, like they're very close to the entrance. Um, I can probably, probably get there pretty fast. Yeah, I think I'm here right now. Yeah, there's three right there, but we can't get that until way later in the game, so. And I believe two is on the top right here, but that stupid platform's in the way, we can't even get there! Ah! Okay. And jump. Come on. This guy's takes for this thing takes forever. I don't even know why. Like platforms in general, like moving platforms in general, like in the Rayman series, it just takes forever. Okay. Now on to path two. And more girls wanna have fun. What you'll need is a climbing ability, then quickly go to the first challenge test. Alright, so we have another area. This is a bit more sunset-y, so the sky's purple. <laughs> if, I, I guess they were trying to go for a sunset look. Oh, purple skies are beautiful. I I always like sunsets. Sunsets are probably like the best, the like my favorite time of day. Golden hour, they call it. Especially like as a photographer, um, the best time to take pictures are uh, during golden hour. At least I think. But definitely don't take pictures of 12 o'clock. Another one of those bubble things right there. Alright. Uh, there we go. So, it's no stranger to anybody that I'm actually playing this game on an emulator. Um, I do that because I want to get the best possible quality I can for you guys when it comes to this game. And bumping up the settings, like, all the way up, it makes this game look... 10 times better than what it is if you play on a normal DS console. Like, it's so pixelated when you play on a console, you can't even tell, like, it's a ring. Oh, I mean, you can. You can, but, like... Like, it, it's really pixelated. Like, here's what it looks like without these settings. And, like, I really don't like it at all. But, like, with these settings bumped up, like, I really, really love these graphics right now. So, I'm happy. I'm happy, like... Whoever made this emulator uh, was able to incorporate that. And it looks great with other games too, like New Super Mario Bros., uh, Super Mario 64 DS, any of the Pokemon games, um, any, any like 3D games. Like, it looks great. Like, the graphics, if you set these in these settings. And especially this game. Even Rayman DS, like, it looks 10 times better. Like, it actually looks like the Dreamcast version. The only thing that sucks though is you can't change the music. <laughs> Which, I'm sorry, but Rayman on the DS is probably the worst port of Rayman 2 out there. Like, I know there's the- I know there's the- oh, first of all, first of all, here's the climbing ability. Um, we're able to climb ladders and then go on monkey bars. So, to get- so we can climb, and then if you want to go faster, just keep tapping the button. You'll, you'll get there in no time. We can climb monkey bars like these. It's simple. Th these abilities were in Rayman 2, and now they're here in this game. And they even use the same motion too, which I thought was funny. But yeah, like Rayman DS, I think is the worst port of Rayman 2, hands down. Because not only are the not only are the controls bad. I mean, actually, actually no, they're not that bad when you get used to them. But the music is terrible in the DS version. And like the boss theme in Rayman 2, it's probably my favorite, my favorite Rayman song to like one of my favorite Rayman songs to this day. But like they fucking ruined it in the DS version. Anyways, this one we have to match the picture at the bottom, so we gotta match, uh, Rayman shooting a plunger. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's really it. <laughs> I don't know why they- Why is that a mini game? I mean, you have- I mean, I guess you messed up, like, if you type it wrong, I don't know, but it's not that hard to time. Anyways, now we're, uh, Granny Rayman, or Earth Rayman, or whatever. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, so we're gonna go up, and while there's really not much to talk about, well, coming up soon, there is gonna be something we gotta talk about, um, we are able to switch costumes mid-run, 
And there should be, yep, right there. Press the L, press the left D-pad to switch your costume. So now we're able to be Fire Rayman and then do some fire stuff like this. Or like what you just saw. So yeah, you're gonna do this a lot. And what I like doing in these running sections is, well, here's a little question about telling you what to do. I don't know why they didn't tell you like right when you saw the first bridge. I don't know. I mean, it's not like there was anything on the top anyway, so. But, uh, um, go. And also, we gotta find two trophies here. I didn't notice that. Let's get launched up. Break these chains. Get the trophy. And this is what I like doing. If you do this enough times, the UFO sound effect in the background will stop playing. But it, 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 it doesn't work so much right now because you only have two cops and two costumes, but once you get more costumes, the other two, um, you'll definitely be able to pull it off easily, because that UFO sound is kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so, here, I don't know why you put that guy there, and there we go. Should be almost done. I will warn you guys though, this these stages hardly have any checkpoints, so if you die, you gotta go all the way back. So yeah. Okay, now we gotta go back to the second stage in the jungle level, and we have to go to path two now that we have the climbing ability. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And what about your climbing ability? Did you ever think about before taking that path, taking this path? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, as we're going to Path 2, I'm going to talk about the other, more of the other versions of this game. I want to talk about the Game Boy version. Um, so that version kind of has more, more lore on the rabbits. And it basically explains how the rabbits were once peaceful creatures. But then people, like, took advantage of them and just, like, messed around with them. And they finally couldn't take it anymore. And they just started becoming evil and going crazy. Which, that, that's, some, that's some pretty dark lore. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm, I'm, I'm sounding like Stellar Steel saying, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. But, um, yeah, like, that's some, that's some pretty dark lore. Like, a whole race just attacks people because they just take advantage of them. Like, that's pretty bad. But, um... But, uh, yeah, and, like, also, a lot of the Rayman characters, like Globox, Lee the Fairy, and the Teensies, they're in that game, too. And not in, like, the DS version or the, uh, or the, uh, Wii version or, or console version, which I thought was pretty interesting. But they only show up for a small bit of time. Head for the challenge test. All right. So, yeah. And then, like the DS version... You do, you do get costumes, um, but I'm not gonna explain what they are right now. I wanna wait till we get all the costumes and and all the costumes in, in the game right here, and then I'll tell you what they do. Mainly because I don't want to spoil, I don't want to spoil the uh, other costumes that we're gonna get. I don't think the bomb can harm you. Actually, wait, I think I need to uh, get another one of these. Okay, there we go. I always forget about that. Pushing the almighty ball! Stone ball! Rayman got stone balls. And there we go. Yeah, that, that, that thing can kill anything, honestly. I don't know if uh, it can kill that giant robot. Because, like, there's nothing... There's no, like, way to... Drag, a, drag the stone ball like over there or something. I don't know. Okay, wait. I believe this is in some death. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. So, some of the areas... Oh, okay. Some of, like, the areas, like, that you drop down to, they they look like you could stand on them, but in reality, they just... It's just... It's just death. Which I think is really weird. Alright, this is crazy. Well, first, we have to defeat these enemies, and I can't do it with this bomb here. Oh, I leveled up. I leveled up, but I got hit. That's funny. It's playing the classic jungle music. This song was actually in one of the mini games in Rayman Raven Rabbids uh, console version. It was the I think it's uh, bunnies don't like bats or something where you have to rescue the uh, pigs 
Or not the, yeah, yeah, the, the, the baby pigs and bring it back to their mother. So, but it, this song does make for a good jungle theme. Because, like, that minigame, you're, like, on a... You're, like, at a beach or something. There's a little bit of vocals in the background, too. I didn't even notice that. It should be to the left. Yes. Break that. And we gotta get the stone ball. Push it down here. Drop down. And we're able to plow through all these spike thingies, which we weren't able to do before. I'm pretty sure you could just tank your way through, but you're gonna need these anyway. You're gonna need the ball anyway, because you need to climb up here. There's another bug. Is he gonna bug out? No, he didn't. Okay, we got more alums than last time. We got our alums back. I don't know, those things are kind of pointless because, like, you can already, like, like killing enemies with your alarms is probably going to be your, like, your main method of attacking instead of using your fist, because, like, your fists hardly do anything. And, like, you get so many alarms, like, like, it's not hard to run out of alarms, so. Okay. Ooh, this one. Okay, this game here was actually in the in the console version. You're supposed to move a lantern around and then avoid these ghosts, but in the console version, you have to you have to drag like a uh, a red bunny with the sombrero on. It's supposed to be like the bunny's nightmare, and if you hit something, the bunny wakes up. So yeah. All right, time to use the stylus and do another challenge run. Yeah. So, while we're doing this, jeez, I'm, okay, I'm looking, I'm looking at the side of my phone and it says that I have, like, a bunch of, uh, matches on Tinder, but, I don't know, I never use, I hardly use Tinder anymore, I only downloaded it because I recently took pictures today, my mom took pictures of me, she wanted me to dress up in a suit and tie, because she wanted me to, she wanted me to take, like, GQ looking photos, and I, and, like, the photos turned out amazing, don't get me wrong, here's what they look like on screen, but, um, like, I really like these photos, and, like, I decided to put them on my Tinder to see if I get any matches, but now I'm getting matches up the ass now. <laughs> I don't know. Because I did put them on my Tinder, and then I wanted to see, like, if I got anything. But, knowing my luck, they're, knowing my luck, they're probably all bots. So, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna try. But anyway, um... As I was saying... So... <clears throat> excuse me. The console versions, um, you would, if you're playing story mode, you would have to play four minigames and then a boss minigame. Um, and the bosses, the boss minigames, most of them, like, majority of them were basically, like, first-person shooters, only you wouldn't move. Rayman would just move automatically. And they were cool. Like, they were cool, but, like, I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan fan of first-person shooters like at all and like it controlled beautifully don't get me wrong like I, I personally would not recommend playing the Wii version because I don't like motion controls at all so um that, that, that's my person that's my personal personal opinion but I don't like the whole like Wii version with the point that they got a screen I mean like it's cool like I, I once had the accessories where you can put put the Wii mote like in like one of those pl plastic plungers and then you could like shoot with that but it made it it made it ten times harder anyways we completed that level um now we can leave the jungle and go to a new area but yeah and like and like you would occasionally fight some bosses um some of them were pretty cool. Like, you fight, like, this, like, really weird robot rabbit, and then, um, some, like, giant rabbits, too. Like, robot giant rabbits or whatever, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And, like, you would fight a, a bunch of bunnies, too. And they would take, like, one hit to kill. Some of them multiple hits, depending on what they have on. Anyways, now we're at the ruins. We have to find the wind costume, um, to proceed. Um, this is in path one, so we're gonna just go ahead and go forward. Now, as you notice, whenever you level up, your star meter gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And we have to fill it up more and more. So, yeah, try killing every enemy that you can, and you'll, your HP will be up in no time. In fact, I think I have full HP, like, almost near the end of the game. And I think now the enemies get a little bit tougher. 
Okay, no, no. Okay. How I know is that sometimes the rabbits, they can shoot more than one plunger coming out of their gun. And they take more hits. Even with the lungs. Okay. Um, we cannot go to path two yet. We need to go down. Could helicopter your way down, which I'm, I don't know why I'm doing that. Can't go to path three, so we're gonna go to path one. Where did he come from? I don't know. I think these things were in Rayman 2. Well, a variation of them. Actually, no, no, they're nowhere they were in Rayman 2. Um, if you throw your fist at them, they will stop for a little bit. And then they will just move. Which is pretty cool, I guess. I mean, it's good, like, if you want to hitch, if you want to, like, stop at the hitch a ride. But those guys can throw, I think, celery at you. And that explodes. I don't know. These enemies right here... They they were not in the Game Boy version, but they were in the console version. They were uh they were in one mini game. Well, here's the uh we can't this is the win element you need you to use it. Uh, you need to pick up the costume, so we're gonna get that right now. But they were only in I think two mini games. It's called Bunnies Can't Jump, and then Bunnies Don't Know What to Do with Cows. As far as I know, there's probably more instances. Oh yeah, and then there's like a racing game too that they were in. That's the only time that they're in there. And like, they're not in any other Rayman game, just this one. And the console version. Yeah, they're not even in the Game Boy version. Oh, endurance round. Okay. And boom. Okay, jump up. Oh, I missed. Come on. Ah, I stopped you. Yeah, I didn't know about that until I recently started uh, playing this game again on an emulator. Like, stopping the whole, like, platform. Yeah, those, those like, made bunnies, they don't do anything. They don't give you anything, so it's kind of pointless to... Kind of pointless to kill them. Okay. Now, I don't know this, but I think if you die, you don't have to hit all the switches again. So, but still, you have to, like, climb all the way back up here again. It's not like the first, uh, map thing where you can just, where you can just, uh, you know, you don't have to climb or anything. So it kind of follows the path a little bit. Okay. And there we go. Thanks to the new costume, you'll be able to activate the clouds above the window in it. So we got Disco Rayman. Um, in the console version, I think, yeah, I think it was Disco Rayman, but it had purple hair. Okay. And wow, I'm I used a lot of lungs in this level. That's okay, I'm gonna get them all back soon. So we activate the clouds by pressing the X button, jump on the clouds like this, they act like platforms, and there we go. We're gonna be using that a lot, and they utilize them in clever ways too. Alright, what minigame do we got this time? Because I actually don't remember. <laughs> oh, it's Whack-A-Mole. This was also in the console version. But the only thing is, if you click anything other than the bunnies, or rather, like, press, like, hit it with a shovel, like, you, you, you hit the bunnies with a shovel, which I think is funny. But, um, if you hit, if you hit, like, the ground or something and not the bunny, you lose five points, and I think your goal is to get, like, 700 points. I really don't remember. But, yeah, this was, this was in the console version. And I guess the Game Boy version had something similar where you would just like shoot the bunnies instead of uh, instead of like doing whack-a-mole with it. So it's kind of similar, and like you would have to you would also have to avoid the Murphy heads too. So I don't know. All right, prepare to draw your stylus. And I love how his uh, his torso is like a cloud. Oh. I, I don't know. Wow, this, this model looks really good and, like, really good quality. High def. Or 4K. I don't know what it is. The graphics look better, okay? And I love the scenery, too. I mean, the background's just a bunch of sprites, but still. Alright, so we're able to draw, like, a circle like this. And, yeah, do that. Activate wind. And we can able, we're able to lower draw bridges like this, too. Well, not draw bridges, but we make bridges, okay? And then, make another bridge like this. Now, it is pretty hard doing this with the mouse, so if you're gonna play this game, play it on a play it on an actual DS. 
but there's really no shame in playing on an emulator if you want to get that sweet, sweet uh, graphical, graphical enhancement. So, I mean, now I, unless I'm doing like a practice run, I play all my DS games on my computer. Unless I'm like out and about and I take my save file with me. All right, so we just gotta get one here. Now here's something I don't get. We can pick up these tornado things, which tornado is basically wind, but we can't use the wind element to blow the, blow the UFO away. That kind of makes no sense. I don't know. And I love how one of those spikes is just jolting out. Another one too. All right, I don't think we're gonna switch, so. It's just having us get used to the uh, wind element, which is kind of cool. Okay, and do that. I kind of like how I kind of don't like how you can't jump. I mean, I get it, like he moves on his own, but I don't know. Let's go forward. Um, this song in the background um, had like a bunch of variations with it. How I know the song, it's from the song Pump It by the Black Eyed Peas. And, um, and, uh, yeah, that, that, that's basically how I know it. There's probably other variations of the song. I don't know, I don't know where though. Like, I don't know, I don't know what they are. The only one I know is Pump It by the Black Eyed Peas, and that's a pretty good song. And it's a pretty sick uh, song to play Just Dance to. Or, like, dance along to and Just Dance, but I don't do that anymore because I don't dance. Okay, and that should be the end of the level. I'm not even gonna touch the controller. Never mind, I have to. <laughs> or the mouse, rather. And there we go. All right, and we got all the trophies. Um, we got time to do another level. Let's do it. With the ice costume, path one is effective. So now we're gonna get an ice costume now. And those are our new kind of enemy. Um, I don't actually know the name of the those enemies. Some people pop up on screen what their names are because I actually don't know. They look like elephants or something with really trunk, like really small trunks or whatever. But yeah, they take two two of your fists to defeat, and then one lump to defeat. But they give two stars, so kill as many of them as you can. Wait, what's down here? I, ha! I do it! Cool. I probably won't be getting all the bubble limes because they're not required to 100% the game. The only thing you have to do to 100% the game is get every trophy. Um, this song that's playing in the background, this was in one of the gun stages in the uh, console version. And I think, like, the, these kind of levels were in the console version, like, in the gun stages. But they were treated a lot darker. Like, like it was, it took place, like, during a thunderstorm. It was nighttime, and, like, yeah. And same with the, uh, same with the beach level in the beginning. We, we explore, you, you can explore a beach in the, uh, in the, uh, the gun section. Which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, so we can't go through that bridge right there, so I'll just drop down it, why don't we? So many. And now we're trapped because we can't leave, so we have to go this way now. Uh, let's grab this. And what is this way? Okay, it's you. Wait, did I reach checkpoint? I don't actually know. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay. Um, that's an easy one. 
It's another one of these. Now, this is actually the last costume in the game. But this is not the last, uh... I don't think this is the last, uh... Opening a present, like, like opening the door to get the present thing. Because, uh, there's a lot of, uh... There's more things that we have to get, like... Like... More of Rayman's abilities. And if you played Rayman 2, you should probably know them by now. Get these. I don't like how like those uh, stupid wooden things did not mean to do that. Those stupid wooden things uh, block like lums because like you know you're gonna you're gonna I mean you could use your fist but like that takes a century to get rid of. Oh yeah, these guys I call them solid snake bunnies, but um yeah they they hide in boxes and shoot at you. They only give them heart. I don't really find them worth killing, even though I'm doing them anyway. I'm almost out of health. Jeez. I better find one of those things fast. And there we go. We got Elvis Rayman. Thanks to the new costume, you'll be able to generate projectiles above the ice element. So this is actually pretty cool and um, pretty clever too. So going back, a little checkpoint here, just in case we uh, die because we're so low on health. Um, we get three ice ice balls, ice cubes, whatever. Um, and we're able to shoot them with the X button and basically freeze whatever's in front of us. So we, we we're able to freeze the bridge right there. And yeah, we can use these on enemies and other stuff too. Getting my lungs back. And wait, yay didn't your yeah didn't come up. Why not? Oh, it's sad. But yeah, we're able to use it for other stuff too. Um the main thing is bridges. Okay, what's this one? Will you be able to shoot the mines before they reach the ground? I don't know, let's see. I don't think this minigame was even on the uh, console version. Well, that was easy. Alright, what we got? Oh, dude, he has chest hair! I didn't notice that! That's pretty funny. Alright, so this is kind of similar to the, uh, fire element. Um, in terms of defeating enemies, we're able to defeat enemies with these. And we can freeze things in front of us, which should happen right now. Okay, so... We're able to freeze sand and we can walk on it. I don't know how Rayman doesn't slip and fall, but whatever. But he did it in Rayman 1, but not this game. And then we can rub it, rub on an enemy, and then just basically crush it with ice. That's kind of gruesome. Okay, and then we're able to do that with waterfalls. Anything that's water, we can. Anything that's water, we can freeze. And I don't know what this is. Oh, that's a flamethrower. That is not a flamethrower. I always thought that was, like, sand or something. That is not a flamethrower. I'm sorry. I refuse to believe that. Okay. So now for the real deal. Hey. Sometimes the... Sometimes, like, it doesn't really, like, respond to the ice thing, so just warning you right there. So you might, like, try to do it, and then you end up falling and dying, which kind of sucks. And, like, it's not because I'm playing on an emulator. Like, it happens on the it happens on the DS version, too, where just, like, like the ice doesn't respond to the water. So, like, the minute you see it, do it. Should be getting close to the first trophy. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm so sorry. Probably ruined everybody's favorite song, Black Eyed Peas song. Okay, and got it. 
I love doing this. Oh, hey, I got rid of the UFO sound. That's pretty funny. Alright, good. And just because... Woo! Oh. <laughs> Woo! And... I'm Elvis Raymond or Ice Raymond and I have a f and I have the fire head on top. <laughs> I always like doing that just to see like what I get. And there we go. All right, we got a lot done. We finished most of the jungle level and we got the last two remaining costumes. 